In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to download the land cover and use for the entire globe for free. We'll also learn how to extract the land use and land cover for a single country, like for example Switzerland in this case. Welcome to Geocarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So open your local browser and look for FAO map catalog. You will get this result, this first result, FAO map catalog or you can simply click on the link under the description below so click on it you will be redirected to this page so here in the search bar type land use land cover and then click on search you will get a bunch of results we will be looking for uh, the land use and the land cover of the entire globe so as you can see we have those land cover for example for south sudan for other countries like Jordan for an entire continent like for Africa but we are looking for this one which is the dominant land cover and land use for the entire globe so click on it you will get this page so from here we are going to download our global uh, land cover and use scroll down and you will get these options for the download so for us we will be downloading this one S3 grid and layer file just click on download and you will get your download after the end of the download you will get this zip file right click on it and click on extract here in order to unzip it so there we go as you can see we got a bunch of files so now we will open a GIS software in order to read those files you can use either ArcGIS or QGIS for my case I will use ArcGIS after opening ArcMap, we will go ahead and add our data. In order to do this, click on this button, Add Data. Then navigate to your work folder and then we will add this first file .chief. And then we will click on Add. We need to apply a kind of symbology to this chief. In order to do this, we will go ahead and right click on our chief file and we will go to Properties. And here we will go to symbology and we will click on unique values. We'll click on yes. And from here we will go ahead and add our second file, the layer file. Click on this import button. Click again on this import and navigate to your work folder and you will find this dom.layer file. Click on it and then click on add. Then click on OK. So here we go. As you can see, we got our symbology, our classes. Then click on Apply, and then we'll click on OK. We got now our land cover and land use with the color legend. Now let's imagine, for example, that we want to get the land use and land cover for a single country. So let's imagine, for example, that we want to get this information for Switzerland. So we will go ahead and add the shapefile limit, the boundary of this country. In order to get the shapefile boundary of our country, we will go ahead and use this DevaGIS website. Just search DevaGIS in your local browser, and you, or you can simply click on the link under the description below. After that, click on this results you will be redirected to this web page just click on free special data and then click on country level data you will get this page now we will specify our country switzerland and we will look for administrative areas just click on ok after that click on download so after, after the end of the download we got this zip file right click on it click on extract here in order to unzip it so we got a bunch of files we will go to ArcGIS in order to use those files so go back to ArcMap and then we will go ahead and add this ship file click again on add data now we get to your work folder and then we will use this administrative zero so there we go as you can see we got our ship file boundary of Switzerland I will change the symbology click on OK so now we will go ahead and extract the land cover and use for Switzerland. 
In order to do this, click on the search button, type clip, click on enter, and we will use this clip data management. For the input raster, we will use our global land cover and use chief. For the output extent, we will use our file boundary of Switzerland. And here you can specify where you want to output your result. Name it and then click on save. And don't forget to check use input features and check maintain clipping extent. And then click on OK. So here we go. After the end of this operation, you will get the land use and cover for your country. We'll go ahead and classify those values. So right click on your newly created raster, go to properties and there go to symbology and click on unique values. Again on this import, import and we will import this layer file. Click on OK and then apply and then OK. So here we go. We got now our land use and land cover classification according to the FAO. So I hope that you got some value from this tutorial. If so, please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials.